Today we're going to be fitting sidebars. Everything we have in the kit we've got laid on the table here, plus a few extras that you need tool-wise. So if we have a look, we've got our sidebars in black. We have our sidebar mounting brackets, also in black. We have all the fixings and fittings required to fit this to your vehicle, including the washers, lock washers and nuts that are needed. Parts you'll need are a 16mm spanner, a 13mm spanner, an 8mm and a 10mm on a socket. That's for removing plastic parts of the undertray underneath the vehicle and a pair of safety glasses just to prevent any debris falling in your eye when you're under there. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is uh, remove our underbelly pan along the side here so we can get and fit our sidebars. Now for the purpose of filming, obviously we've got ours on a ramp so it's up in the air so we can see and do it, but if you're doing this at home on your drive, I recommend you jacking up one side at a time. So you'd put an axle stand at the back and an axle stand at the front and have one side up. Um, and then we need to go ahead and, and remove all our fixings to get our belly pan down. Now the size of the fixings are eight mil and 10 mil, that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and start taking out our fixings from here. So this one's eight mil, it's up in here. And again, you do need a bit of extension to be able to get in here. Important just to take your time, um, follow the pan round and you'll see the fixings that are holding it to the vehicle. Just gently undo those. If you're worried about remembering where they all go, uh, use a mobile phone or a camera or something, or a digital camera and take pictures. And then you can't go wrong when you're refitting. Okay, so we've removed all our plastic under trays. Um, we've done that for filming purposes. So when you're at home fitting the sidebars, all you need to do is remove the screws along the side and pull the plastic panels down just to gain access. We only need access to this part here. And it's just underneath the sill and in between the box section. So if I show you where this bracket goes. So this is the rear bracket for our sidebar. Now this locates up under here and the cutout here is for the drain. Okay, so the rubber bungs you need to remove is here and here, just those two. So we'll go ahead and remove those. They should just pull out with your thumb. One. Two. Okay, so these are the fixings we need to fix the rear part of our sidebar frame. Now these fit up into the box section um, from where we just removed the bungs and then these lock them in place afterwards. So I'll go ahead and show you that now. Okay, so you just need to push your fitting into the, the hole, literally just move it in as, as you saw. And then this locking plate goes on, pushes on through the thread. Now, all that does is just stop that moving. So when we're putting the bracket up, it stops it going back inside. Now, it doesn't have to be particularly tight. Um, once we bolt it up, it'll bolt up and bolt up tight anyway. Now we've got our fittings into the sill part of the vehicle, we're going to put our rearmost bracket on. Okay, so we just gently feed up through the fixings that we've put in, like so. A lock washer and a nut. We're just doing finger tight at this stage. Okay, this is the frontmost bracket for our sidebars. As you can see, it hasn't got the cutout, so that makes this definitely the front one. It's only the rear one that has a cutout for the sill. Um, so we're gonna put this in place and I'll show you roughly where it goes. Okay, so there's two bungs we need to remove and they're the frontmost bungs. So the first one and the second one that you come to from the front, we need to remove those. Okay, uh, to fit our brackets, we've got our captive fittings and our locking tabs. So we're gonna go ahead and put those in now. And all that does is just stop us pushing the bolt back up into the sill. Okay, so we're ready to fit our frontmost bracket. We've got our plane washer, our lock washer, and our nut to go on in that sequence. So I'll go ahead and do that. We'll just do it up finger tight for now, like so. Okay, so we've got our brackets fitted to our vehicle, and this is our sidebar that's gonna fit to it. It's a good idea just to check your threads before we get to the vehicle. Um, make sure we haven't got any problems. So this is our bolt that we're going to use as a fixing. Again, it's got a washer and a lock washer on it. And we're just literally going to try it in the thread and make sure we're good. 
So we should be able to just finger that in. We can spin that in with our fingers, that's fine. If you want, you can put a bit of grease on the thread if it helps, or a bit of wax oil or something like that, just to prevent a bit of corrosion. So we're now gonna fit our sidebar to it. You can rest the sidebar on the ground the other side. Obviously, we've rested it on the ramp because we've got it on the ramp. Uh, and literally, all you need to do is get that fixing in. Again, that's only loosely fitted. We can go to the other side and do the same. Good. And then we're ready to tighten it up with the spanner. Okay, now everything's loosely fitted, so it's time to start tightening things up. We're gonna tighten up our 13 mil nuts first that are securing our brackets, and then we'll secure the outer tube when we're finished. We'll go ahead and do that. So now our brackets are tight, the only thing we need to do is tighten up the actual sidebar, but first we need to make sure it's in the right position. There are elongated slots on the bracket, so it allows us to move the bar around. So basically what we do is line up the ends and make sure we cover up the bracket. So as you see, that's overhanging there. And then we're just gonna literally slide it so it's in line, and we make sure that the front one is exactly the same, so they're in the same position. So let's check the front. Okay, so we're just gonna tighten up our 16 mil headed bolts with our 16 mil spanner. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and fit our uh, bracket this side, at the front bracket and the sidebar this side, so I'll crack on and get it done. Okay, so we've fitted our sidebars, and now we're putting up our plastic under trays. Now, for you doing it at home and you're doing it on axle stands, if you're doing axle stands on one side, you don't necessarily have to take the whole underside of the under panel down. You can just loosen the frontmost bolts and pull it down to get you enough access. Now, either way around you do it, whether you take it off or just gain access, you will need to cut a little hole around where our sidebar fixing comes through to enable that under shield to fit back correctly in the correct position. So you can see here, we've made a mark where we want to cut our panel and that will alleviate the pressure on there from our fixing for our sidebar. As you can see here, we've done the same. We've cut that out and that alleviates this putting pressure on our undershield. Okay, so the undershield is made out of plastic. Um, it can be cut with a sharp pair of snips or a pair of tin snips um, or a coping saw if you were really uh, gentle with it or careful, or you could drill it out. There are various ways to get rid of that, but it's only a bit of plastic. Okay, so we've cut our mouse holes out or our holes to allow our fixings to come through from our sidebars. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna use an underbody wax to protect our fixings. Okay, so that's our sidebars fitted and completed. Make sure you follow us to see the progress of this van and visit justcampers.com for more information.